Okay, Linderman family, want to show you what's going on uh, with Remy, get you your update video here, uh, show you how your boy's doing. Um, talk about, um, I know he's going home soon, um, and try to talk about a plan for um, how we continue to see Remy um, <clears throat> grow and, and have success. Um, so the the thing that I, uh, I, I said in a text message to Aaron, that, or Aaron, Adam, that we're kind of switching gears a little bit. Um, and I, we had talked about like doing marks and, um, doing some, some hunting concepts. Um, and that's not quite what Remy needs at the moment. Um, and I want to show you what I mean. So the, the problem I'm having with Remy is consistency. So Remy, uh, if I take a duck, for example, any duck doesn't matter. I'm, I'm using here a little blue wing teal, uh, cause it's small and easy. Um, if I take a blue wing teal, hey, can you wait? And I throw it across the room here. Remy, good boy, here. We'll pick it up and then he will drop it uh, somewhere else. And, and sometimes he will pick it up uh, maybe and be playful with it and like start pulling out feathers. Or, or sometimes he will, won't pick it up at all. This is a problem of consistency. And this just means that Remy is confused. Um, he's not being defiant. Um, I, I don't think he's being difficult on purpose. I think he genuinely doesn't understand what I want from him. This is actually very common. Um, a lot of dogs go through this, especially at this age. And so what we need to do is we need to put him through a process called force fetch. Um, and so force fetch is just a way for us to take the retrieve process and break it into little individual increments and to help him to understand each little step along the way. Now, the problem with this is... Well, I should say the good thing is I know that will fix the issue. That will make him a consistent retriever. The problem is I'm not going to be able to finish it in time. The force fetch process alone takes four to six weeks, usually closer to six. Um, and we kind of had about a week or two of kind of getting started and evaluating and figure out what we needed. So I'm really only about 10 days or so into the force fetch process with him. But I have a whole series of videos of how-to videos on how to do this. So that when you get him home, you can continue. Um, and, and I um, worked through this process in a very, very similar setup with a dog uh, who was not terribly consistent. So let me explain what I'm doing with him here uh, so that you can know what's going on. First, you'll notice that he is standing over here on the mat, right? And so I'm using this mat um, to help him understand that there is, uh, this is kind of our our home base, uh, the position one, if you will. Um, the idea that this is where um, everything is going to start and end. Um, and so uh, uh, Remy, of course, um, knows quite a bit of obedience. Good, sit, good dog. Uh, he minds very well, um, he's, he's very good with the obedience. And so what we've been doing is sort of refreshing the stuff that he knows. I need to tweak the camera here just a smidge, sorry. Um, uh, tweet, you know, kind of making it clear what he already knows and helping him understand that we're going to add to his obedience okay? because that's all force fetch is. It's just another obedience, but instead with their legs, we're going to control their mouth, right? So I mean, go out here, good here, good here, heel, sit, good boy. And that's all good. You know, I mean, that's, that's what I want to see. Go out, come back, sit down, be quiet, don't yank on the leash. You know, that's what I'm looking for, okay? Now, when we're doing force fetch, what it starts with is it starts with I'm using a stick that he does not know. This is just um, a, a plastic stick. with the, It's actually designed for this uh, with a, a low spot in the middle so it makes it easy to grab. Um, and so what we're doing with Remy is I'm helping him understand that I want him to get something in his mouth on command and hold it there until... Uh, otherwise noted. Um, so the, the, the idea here is I want to come down to his level. Okay. We want to make him feel more comfortable because this is, this is awkward for the dog. All right. So he's, he feels uncomfortable because I'm going to control his mouth and dogs find this very strange. Um, and, and if you watch the, the four stretch videos, um, I, I, I went through the first, I've gone through about the first two or three with him at this point. Right? And so what I'm doing is I'm taking the stick and we need to get the stick in his mouth. Okay, Now, the force in force fetch comes from me squeezing his ear. Okay, 
Now I am squeezing his ear with my index finger and my thumb, and and Remy is is sensitive. He is not a dog that we have to be to be um, you know take a heavy hand with. That's not that's not my style anyway, and that's certainly not what Remy needs. Remy is is a pleaser. He's a lover. He's just confused. And so what we're trying to do is to help him understand that pressure is a means for communication. Just like we use a leash to apply pressure to his neck, I'm now applying pressure to his ear to help him understand I'm going to control your head and your mouth. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to lightly squeeze his ear with my left hand, and I'm going to take the stick, and I'm going to come right here, and I'm putting my thumb in his mouth. Good boy. Good. To control, hold, get the stick in there. Now, he's giving me some resistance here, and that's okay. Good. Good boy. We need him to hold on to the stick. Good boy. Good. So I'm using my hand to help keep his head up. Good boy. And I, I want to be able to touch under his jaw, right? I want to be able to uh, pet him. I want to be able to talk. Okay, so we're going to control his mouth. I'm doing that by, by pushing under his jaw. Good boy. Good. Good. Give. Good dog. Okay, now Remy is wanting to escape. This is very common because this, like I said, this is awkward. This is uncomfortable. This is weird. Most dogs are like, what are we doing? Like, this is weird. Okay, so once we've got him holding the stick nicely in his mouth, we need to be able to walk with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reapply the pressure, get the stick in his mouth. Okay, bud, come on. Good. Good boy. And now we're going to walk with it, okay? And I, we do not let him get that stick out until we say the give command to take it from him. Good. Heel. No. Good. Heel. Heel. Sit. Good. Good boy. Good. And he's given me a little bit of resistance there, you know, wanting to move his head to the side. That's okay. That's all right. He's not hurting anybody. He's just resisting this because this is an unusual, um, unusual feeling for him. That's okay. Good. Give. Good dog. Good. So we'll do one more right here. Good oh boy. Good. So we go out from the mat. Come on. Good boy. And we're going to come back to the mat. There's no way we let the stick come out. Even if I'm holding it in with my other hand. Good boy. Good. Give. Good dog. So he's got a nice grip. He's, he's holding this. We're doing, we're getting started on this process. This, this will take another month at least at home, but it's fine because I'm kind of getting you started on the process and then it's, it's pretty easy to follow the video series in little increments. Um, and I would expect he would, he would do fine. Um, there's certainly nothing wrong with Remy. Um, it's just the way that he is perceiving this as he doesn't understand Go pick it up every time. Come straight to me. Um, he, 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 we need to break this process down into little bitty steps. The good news is virtually everything else is working great. His obedience is great. His socialization is great. His health is great. His, his drive to go chase the object is great. He's great with gunfire. He's great in the water. All those things are great. We just have to help him be more consistent in the way that he picks up everything and brings it to us. So. The force fetch process is the way to fix all that and make it look a lot better. Um, but it's just going to take a little more time than I have. But Remy's doing fine. But that's how we're going to keep moving.